Hello folks, welcome back. In this lecture, I am going to talk about Kubernetes components. First, let's talk about nodes. Node is a physical or virtual server which can hold containers. In case something goes wrong with node, the containers which are running in the node will not be available. To overcome this problem, usually in Kubernetes, we are going to launch containers in more than one node. That is where you have a group of nodes. A group of nodes we usually call it as a cluster. A cluster have more than one node and it spreads containers across the nodes. So in case something goes wrong with a node in a cluster, it is going to recreate containers in next available nodes. So that your containers are applications highly available. Now the question is who will manage this cluster? Cluster doesn't work on its own. That is where we need a master node to manage our cluster. In Kubernetes, we have at least one master node to manage our entire cluster. Let's discuss about Kubernetes components. Kube API Server This API server acts on front-end for Kubernetes. The users, management devices and command line interfaces interact with API server to talk with Kubernetes cluster. Next is etcd. etcd is a distributed reliable key value store. Kubernetes stores all the data in etcd to manage the cluster. In Kubernetes, we will have master and nodes, right? So it will store that information, how many masters I have, how many nodes I have. All that information stores in the etcd. etcd is available all the nodes in the cluster. Next. Cube Scheduler. Cube Scheduler actually distributes the work to the multiple containers which are there in across the cluster. Next, Cube Controller Manager. Cube Controller Manager is responsible to identify if there is any failures in the nodes or containers so that it can able to replace with the new container or new node. That is the major purpose of Cube Controller Manager. Next, Cloud Controller Manager, it is useful if you are hosting your Kubernetes in the cloud. So it can able to talk with your underlying cloud provider to manage your nodes. Next, Kubelet. Kubelet is a service which will run on entire cluster. It will make sure that all the containers are up and running. Next is Kube Proxy. Kube Proxy works at network level which will be forwarding network connections. Next, Container Runtime. Container Runtime is a underlying software which is used to run our containers. So in our case, we are using Docker as a, our container service. Apart from Docker, we might use Rocket or few other container services if we need. Now, we'll see which components are available in which node. Actually, some of the components are available in master node few are available in the node server. So if we distribute, these all are available in master node. These are available on node in the entire cluster. So it would be something like this. In master, we have cube API server, etcd, cube scheduler, cube controller manager, cloud controller manager. Now comes to node side, we have kubelet, cube proxy, and container runtime. Right? These are the components of Kubernetes. Okay? Now you might have clear idea that which components are available in master, which components are available in node. In next video, we are going to set up Kubernetes. There are multiple ways, but we are going to see how we can set it up in AWS. Fine. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.